Everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Moy Garcia, Rebinds, and uh, what I'm going to do today is a review of a, an amazing Bible that uh, our friends at Crossway have uh, sent over uh, to Ireland just to have a review for you. And uh, I'm very impressed with this edition, which uh, in a few seconds you're going to see uh, why I'm saying that. But uh, before uh, I go ahead, please uh, subscribe if you haven't done so. And uh, make sure to click the bell button so that you'll get notified when new videos come up. So, let's go and have a look at this amazing edition of the Holy Bible uh, in the English Standard Version, put out by Crossway. Uh, now, this is, as you can see, is a very nice uh, gold foil stamped is a bit stamped into the leather it will last longer because it's a bit you know imprinted in in the leather so 
there's less chances to, to, to rub it off. And it comes with one, two, three, and four raised hubs. As you can see here, those raised hubs are very, very well defined. As you can see the definition, very sharp. And uh, this is a, a very grainy yet soft uh, goatskin uh, leather. A uh, very nice uh, cut of leather, and as you can see, it's stitched around the perimeter, which is going to give some not only beautiful style but also uh, strength in the corners and uh, the perimeter. The interior, you're going to have a black, smooth, leather lined liner. And uh, also we have this uh, very beautiful gold line given around the perimeter. Just want to show you. And here we have indeed this is a gold skin leather cover. And uh, and this is very soft. Look at this. It's I mean it's nearly I don't know. This is velvety f uh, 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 feeling. I love this liner. And uh, this is kind of more rocked and and deeper grain but it is soft it's not rough to the to the touch if you know what I mean maybe that makes sense to you and uh, also the the, the, the edges are um, gilding in gold and we have the red very fine light red underneath so that's what we call our gilding so it is red under gold so you can see that because of the light that's the gold right there and then when you open it up you see that the red dye in it very very nice we have a presentation There's a couple of pages here in the front uh, this is kind of shiny type of glossy paper uh, I would like that to be just ordinary cardstock so you can write your notes um, without smudging because when you have this type of glossy paper you are taking chances for your pens then you know to rub off the, the ink and here we have the presentation page Holy Bible presented by and on a couple of lines really nice night nice and neat clean not nothing really fancy but straight to the point we have our second presentation page this is indeed the English standard version and here we have that this is the 2016 uh, text edition of the English Standard Version put out by Crossway. And this is, according to this, I think this was printed in the year 2018, and this was probably on December, first edition of December. I think that, that that's what that means. And uh, table of contents, preface. This uh, Mason translation. Oh, let's keep going. Sorry. We go here. So explanation to features included in this edition, and we got, we got here the Old Testament. Now this paper, it's uh, it's not too thin, but it's not extra thick either. Uh, it feels to me like in a mid-range type of paper and uh, uh, I wouldn't be too disappointed with it if I was to write some notes. I think this paper may take uh, ink okay if you're using uh, Pigma Micron pens. I don't think this paper will... It feels to me a little bit like the paper of the uh, ESV uh, uh, wide margin, uh, you know, the one done by Crossway in cowhide leather. That's the. It feels to me a bit that kind of paper, somehow. This is a, a single column edition, and uh, as you can see right here, we have a very nice wide margin, the outer margin, and very generous margin in the interior. But they're not the same size. We got here a bit narrower margin and a bit wider margin up here. We got all the footnotes uh, down the bottom and that uh, this is a paragraph style it's not a verse by verse 
Now the font here it looks very readable to me. We're talking about uh, an average 10, 11 point font. Some people may find it a bit smaller than that. And uh, something I forgot to mention, uh, this is what uh, Crossway has uh, named the preaching edition. Okay, they 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 believe this is a the perfect uh, uh, set or type setting and layout for preaching the word. Uh, I hear people uh, saying that uh, basically they would be happier if this would be in a verse by verse edition rather than paragraph, as you can see right here. The the numbers of each verse don't follow. Uh, uh, the verse by verse layout is just a paragraph um, for a preacher you may want to have that in that order so it's easier for you to find the verse uh, you are referring to but they say that because they left a bit of more space in between the verse number and, and basically the verse itself is supposed to help you to find quicker uh, the verse you're talking about and making the number a bit bolder and bigger. To my eye, I don't see a whole lot of difference between this one and any other uh, edition that Crossway have put out there. Um, I would have done this a bit bolder and bigger if that was the case. Uh, but uh, yeah, I can see that they, they try to do that, but in reality, my own opinion is they kind of got close but they didn't really make it uh, in the end uh, pity because it's it's a, a good idea and it's a, the, the, the font is very readable and I do understand that you have this wide margin here for extra notes maybe you know next to your your your, your um, next to the text that you are uh, preaching from so I believe that that could have been uh, uh, something to to think about for future uh, editions, maybe they can reset that a little bit bigger, bolder, or even thinking about doing this in a verse by verse style. Um, I like the light red color that we got here. That's very, I mean, if, if it centers your attention into the text, yet it's not so distracting. That's something that I really like. I like the way that they actually put each paragraph uh, uh, separated from, from basically. Uh, the, f the previous and the next one as you can see right here with titles uh, for each paragraph that would help you to to focus on um, a specific part or portion of the, the, the text that you're uh, preaching from or teaching from that's neat I like that uh, this is a black letter edition if you go to the New Testament you're gonna see that uh, indeed the letters here are in black uh, I really don't mind as long as the red, if they are using red, is dark and consistent. The black to me looks amazing. It's uh, crisp, pretty nice. Um, I don't have a problem with it. I really like. I can. I don't see any. I haven't found any any problems with it alongside. You know, throughout the whole Bible. Uh, one thing I have to say: it, it is a uh, line matched which means that each line from one side of the page will, will match the next line or another line in the back of it. So back to back, making uh, you know an effect of uh, less ghosting or show through, which is less distracting. Uh, this paper is not really um, the best paper, but it does the job. I mean, I. I don't have a lot of distractions in this page. If I go even to poetry sections, like for example here, you still see some show through from the text behind, but the paper is opaque. It's not too thin or, or, or um, lacking of opacity to the point that it makes it unreadable or very distracting. I think uh, uh, it's that kind of sweet spot it seems to me that the, this part of the Bible, the text, would be like, uh, um, I don't know, something in between the regular and standard 
quality Bibles and the premium Bibles and they have cased this text block in a high premium quality uh, cover. So it's something I, I think I would call it a hybrid and uh, nevertheless I, am, I wouldn't be disappointed with it. Now if you're looking for a high premium paper this is not your Bible. Um, I have to say, I have to be honest, this paper is good, this paper does a job, but it's not the top-notch, high-quality paper that Crossway uh, may be using in their heirloom, uh, for example, editions. I just want to show you in the back, we have, after Revelation, table of measures, I think, weights and measures, there you have it, right here. And then we have uh, maps the, the, in, in this uh, glossy kind of uh, car stock. I know people will love to have this in, in Bible paper, uh, especially friends like uh, Bull Tate. He's always uh, <laughs> mentioning this that he would like the, pa the, the, no, the, the maps to be printed on Bible paper rather than this glossy car stock. And then we have just one car stock page here, and that's the end of it. So nothing really fancy, it doesn't have references, it's pretty much a Bible to read from, teach from, and preach from. It doesn't have references. And uh, uh, I think this could do the job for, for some people. I uh, cannot guarantee you this is going to be your ideal preaching Bible. Uh, and for me, um, I could do the job with this, but I would prefer other editions for preaching, to be honest, like in a verse by verse. If they would have asked me, uh, I would have definitely say, uh, please, verse by verse for teaching and preaching. Uh, but that's just me, that's just my own private uh, personal opinion, and uh, uh, I will not uh, ask you or tell you not to go for this edition you, you can see it for yourself I mean you have to decide whether this is for you or not and uh, to be honest it's a very high quality edition uh, it's not an heirloom it's not on that kind of a level but it is definitely much much better than the regular editions anyway so this is my review for today I hope you enjoyed it uh, please do comment and ask your questions in the uh, comment section down below and uh, I'm going to put a direct link to this Bible, this edition, if you want to purchase it. And uh, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so. I hope to see you soon in another Bible review or rebind. Until then, Shalom.